Hello friends! In this video I want to tell you about the strangest and most inadequate fighter I have ever seen. The action takes place back in 2005 at the MMA tournament Cage Rage 11. This is actually the fighter Richard Bouquet entering the cage. Making his Cage Rage debut here tonight at Cage Rage 11 face-off. And as you can see they're already getting the perks of the Cage Rage venue. That's right, and he's up against Attila Kubele tonight. And as we can see from Richard's interview, Richard seems to enjoy the submission, so I think we're going to have the same old typical striker versus submission match. Should be one that really has some action. And here is our main character, Attila Kubele. He walks with angry and crazy eyes and immediately makes inadequate actions. I've been talking to Attila recently and he's been telling me that he's really hungry for this one. Well, as really you can see hungry. After that, the organizers take him to a corner and try to claim him down. He really looks claimed, but in fact, it is not true. I don't know what substance this guy took, but it was something very strong. Attila really sucked up for this one. Yeah, as like Rob said, it's going to be a uh, grappler against a striker, and Mr. T already looks like he did a little bit of a shoving match there. This the first one of our cage rages. Attila Mr. T. Kubalai versus Richard Bouquet. Ladies and gentlemen, this is three five minute rounds of middleweight action with Richard Bouquet on my right and Attila Mr. T. Kubalai. Guys, sometimes being so psyched up can work against you. Yes, it can. Sometimes if you try and uh, intimidate your opponent, it means you're not as confident, maybe. Next, at the star down, Kubele again unexpectedly hits his opponent in the face, instead of touch gloves. And this is a reason for disqualification. As I said, he's a brawler, it's what he's used to, you know. He, he, He's came into the elite, he's picked up a lot of skill and technique, but as you can see, he's too hungry, he's throwing the strikes already. He could get disqualified for this, this is really, really stupid behaviour. Really stupid. But the opponent is ready to continue the fight, and Hooligan is again forgiven, and of course again in a way. But you've got to have that focus, you've got to have that discipline. Because if you have him, this is the story. And so the fight begins. We'll see a little photo without my comments. But I will say in advance that if this video gets 200 likes, I'll immediately release the next one. Thank you. Yeah, you ready? You ready? Referee Brian Waterman gets it on, so let's see if he can control it. Let's see if he can channel it when he needs it most. Good low kick there. He's made Attila. Richard hungry, I would have thought, by the initial winding up. As you can see, both men are grappling to ground Attila's base out well at the moment. Attila's basing well, he turns, he rolls well. Attila on the bottom in a very unusual position. He doesn't really have anything there, but it's almost a, a reverse triangle he was going for. But now, you see, this is what Balcat wants. He wants to fight on the man. That's right, Richard taking side position. Attila does well to turn him. He has the arm cocked at the back. Richard turns in again, does well. I mean, I know we mentioned earlier about the idea that the striker versus grappler, but Attila's background is Valetudo as well, so very, very similar in certain ways. Grant Waltman looks as though he's struggling to pull Attila off of his opponent. Grant actually had to restrain, his, restrain Attila to stop him from fighting. Attila's getting aggressive. Stupid behaviour by Attila here. Rich, Richard Badkett walks out. Real controversy on the opening bags here. Guys, what, what was it there? Uh, well, he threw the knee on the ground when Balka was going for the takedown, and you cannot do that because anything other than the soles of the feet that touches the ground means it's down the opponent. You can't kick, you can't knee an opponent. He did that a couple of times, and then the referee moved in to assess a uh, foul, and then he kept fighting, and he ended up fighting with the referee. The referee got him into a choke to submit him, or to subdue him, 
and we may see a disqualification here. Very, very strange opening to this cage rage 11. This trying to calm him down now, Rob, but I've never seen anything like it in this our 11th cage rage. This fight has got to end in a disqualification. I can't say it could be continued. That sort of behaviour is really not what we need. In general, the career of this guy did not work out. In total, Attila had three fights in MMA. He won the first by decision. This was the second, disqualification. And in the third, he won by technical knockout. After that, he did not perform anymore, which is a pity. Or not? Leave your comments below and don't forget to subscribe to Low Light TV. See you soon. Well, let's see what uh, kind of decision they've come up with. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner due to disqualification, Richard Bokeh! There was going to be only one outcome for that fight, to be honest, gents. I mean, it, from the start, Attila looked too aggressive. He needs to control that.